What is your name? My name is Thaddeus Wayne Morlock. Welcome, Thaddeus. Thank you. What pronouns do you accept, Thaddeus? Uh, I accept the pronouns he, him, they, and them. Can you elaborate on which pronouns you might prefer, maybe at different times, and when and where you might prefer them? I would say I prefer they and them with my friends, um, just because I know that they're comfortable using those, those terms. I don't mind he and him in a public setting, for instance, at, at work, if, you know, somebody comes, you know, talks to a coworker of mine and says he did this or like, can he do that? I have no, I have no problem with a public use of he and him, um, but I, I prefer, prefer they and them. Okay. So you would, it, we could say that you lean more one way or the other. Right. And I would be definitely lean more they and them. Okay. So if somebody, if, if for the rest of your life, you were referred to only as they and them, you would be more than comfortable That'd with that. That'd be fantastic. That is what you might prefer? Definitely, yeah. Okay. How long have you been using they, them pronouns? i say I've started recently. I'd say within the past year, I started with the they and them. You said I should refer to you as Thaddeus. Yes. Has that always been your name? When I was a child, I was called Thad, which is a shortened version of Thaddeus. Um, and then as kids do when they, you know, turn 13 or so junior high, they want to really define who they are. And so I was no longer a fad, I was Thaddeus, which okay. is my birth name. Okay. So uh, while interviewing other people, uh, so far, oftentimes people have a different name than what they were given at birth. Uh, and in this instance, you're saying that you've always been comfortable with your name, Thaddeus. It was the greatest gift my parents ever gave me, was my name. Okay. Prior to the interview, you said that you had lived in New York. You were not using they, them pronouns there, correct? Correct. Uh, why not? Maybe you can just give me an idea of your journey to uh, the last year. Yeah. Um, the reason why I did not go, I did not use those pronouns wasn't because of, I guess, you know, guilt or shame or embarrassment. It was just something I had never really realized about myself. Um, and once, you know, you get to a certain age, you, as you get older, you, you start to think of who you are within the world, within your friends, within your community, within your family. And I've always felt that the he and him not truly described me, it described me enough, you know, but not fully. I don't fit this box or that box and not that I really want to, but this is, this is where I'm going. And so I was just like, well, I really like the encompassment of the they and the them because it deals with not just body, but my mind, my soul, and my spirit as well. Would there ever be a time that you would be upset if someone asked which pronouns you use? No. How much responsibility do you think should be put on others to ask about your pronouns or for you and other individuals to tell others? There's responsibility on both, on both sides, at least for me, I think. Um, since my presentation is on the, I guess, I'll use the term heteronormative. I mean, I am high femme performing slightly, but I still within the realm of my performance as my gender is, is male-esque. Um, the fact that I've got a goatee, I've got facial hair. Um, the assumption, I don't think it would be a terrible assumption to think that I go by he and him. Um, but I mean, I think as time goes on, I think people are more aware that the whole spectrum is all fucked up anyway. And so I think it kind of depends on where you are in the enlightenment of, of vocabulary. Um, on, on my side, um, I think if I, for me, it's if I want to go into a space as, as they and them, um, then I think a little bit falls on me to, to not declare, but like just to, to tell people like, this is my, this is what I would, this is what I want to go as. In what ways do you express your gender? And in what ways do other people validate your gender? 
I express my gender in, I guess, my performance um, as the way I dress, the way I talk, the way I carry myself in public. I think validation comes in a, a few different forms. It comes with the form of, of a person asking, you know, what pronoun do you use? Um, validation, the, the acceptance of people using those terms. Can you give a specific example of a time when someone gendered you correctly or incorrectly and how it made you feel? Um, when I was a kid, I was a, I was a, a paper boy. Um, and I remember someone being like, oh, here comes our favorite paper girl. And I just remember being shocked that, that someone had thought that I was, I was this female. And it was kind of liberating. It was... I remember being like, wow, they think I'm something completely different than what the world has already told me that I am, or what my family has told me that I am. Um, and I just remember my dad being furious. Like, I can't believe he called you a pin the paper girl. I was like, why are you so offended that somebody called me the paper girl? Like, I just I remember just being just really excited that someone had used those words about me and to me. But uh, I mean, but I it guess, made you feel good when someone was gendered. Oh, it was amazing! Like to to be called something that I had never really thought about, but like really kind of identified with. How do you feel your gender identity compares and relates to how society currently understands gender? <laughs> oh, that's a big one. I mean, especially if you throw race into it. Race throws. I mean, race plays a lot of it. At least for me, it does because there is a there is a performance factor that is allowable for queer men of color to act a certain way. You can be, as a queer person of color, you can act very femme, but still be kind of masculine in a way because of, of my skin tone. I mean, you, the way I deal with that is, I mean, it's, you know, it's case by case, it's instance by instance. Um, I, they, when I came out in high school, as gay, no one, it wasn't that no one was shocked. It was just like, eh, he's already black. He's already different. So what is that? What is that? It's just Thaddeus. I'm lucky enough where <laughs> I'm stubborn and I don't back down. I just, I'm, I'm lucky that I had, that I have never really been that afraid to really be me or at least try to be me in situations. Um, can't say that about love other queer people of color, but for me that's that's how the world kind of sees my gender identity is with my race. There's no, you can't separate it. With the current conversation of transgender people in bathrooms, do you have anything to say or a specific example of something you have experienced that could make other people think more personally on the issue? I remember, and it's not really the restroom, but I remember being in college and Going to, I think we went to this like Target or Walmart or something like that to go shopping. I was with a person who identified as trans, female to male, and we sat there. It was like, well, which dressing room should we use? And they were quite mask performing, and so he was, I'm gonna use this one. So, and I just remember this woman, she can't use that, she can't use that. And I was like, it's a dude, like, He's fine. You go do your business. Um, I personally haven't had to deal with any of that myself. Um, but I definitely have been with, with friends who, who have. Um, if you had to list 10 things in your life that you think about the most, or that might be the most important to you, where would your gender identity fit in? Somewhere in the middle. Because for me, like my, the things that mean the most to me are my friends, my family, my community, and then, then me type of thing, like where I'd rather help people along in some matter, whatever that is, my friends, be with my friends, my family, and then I'll, then I'll think about me. So not, not high, not low, somewhere, somewhere. What message or advice might you give to youth who might be questioning their gender identity? I think being queer is, one of the coolest things in the world. It really is because it really it makes you part of something so much bigger than 
than who you are when you're sitting in your room and you don't know who you who you are. You gotta sit there and be like, I'm not alone because so many other people are going through going through this and being able to feel that solidarity, I think, is so is so powerful. It's so powerful to know that you are, are you are part of an amazing, an amazing family. What advice would you have for parents who have children who are questioning their gender identity? It's not about you. It's about your child. Like, if your first thought is like, oh my gosh, what are people going to think? Then you've already lost. Because it, who cares what other people think? It's your child. And if you love your child unconditionally, you're going to love them journey through this. And if they need a journey through it alone, you... You let them know that you're there to support them. Whatever they need, you're there. Even if you disagree, just know that they that you will never stop loving them. 